this is Cameron with Xoid.com. We're taking another look at my Nintendo Retro Gaming PC version 2.0 and I have a few new parts in for the build. Um, first of all it's a HDMI adapter. Uh, this has uh, a female end and a male end and I'll probably end up using this inside the case because um, what I should probably explain is is what the plans are for this bad boy here. So, like the first one, we're going to wire up the two front controller ports with uh, some retro USB uh, chips that will make it so when you plug in any Nintendo controller, it will read that through the USB port internal on the motherboard. Um, I want to try to keep the stock look. This will be the look normal. Power button will work, reset will work. Uh, these uh, audio and video ports will stay the same, except they probably won't work like they did in the last one. But my only, my only port that I will have external on this device will probably be an HDMI port, which I intend to uh, probably place somewhere around here. Um, on the back of the device. It won't be completely stealth, but I think the benefits that I'll get from an HDMI port, especially where this is going to be an HTPC as well as a gaming machine, um, I think it, it will be well worth it to install one small HDMI port here. Uh, the only other mod I might do is, is uh, use some epoxy and put some USB ports right in this little slot here, maybe two of them right there that can be used for miscellaneous functions. So um, that's the basic overview for my plans for the machine. So here's the parts that I'm going to get, use to get there. HDMI, we talked about that. I've got here the Pico PSU 90 XLP. XLP stands for extra low power. So um, this is the newest green version of the Pico PSU, which is already very green. It's a very efficient, very small power supply. In fact, you can see here in the package, it's, it's incredibly small. You've probably seen these used on other small builds. <coughs> so um, this is the 90 watt power supply Pico PSU 90 XLP. And then this is the motherboard CPU combo that I'll be using in, inside this device. It's a Zotac Fusion 350 A-E and uh, it should be pretty cool. We'll pop it open and, and take a look, but people have been known to get as little as 12 watts at idle using the Pico PSU and this Fusion based system, which even on my last one was using a, was a Celeron build it still put out quite a bit of heat it was fine but uh, with long gaming sessions I would worry that it might have overheated on that old one so this should be much less power but much more capability in a real tiny little system and I've got a few tricks up my sleeve for uh, making this work in the smallest form factor possible so I'll crack it open and uh, let's take a look and see what's inside 